This morning he's introducing us to a Twin Cities entrepreneur who's taken her own knack for helping uh, uh, others get and stay organized. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. Angela, she's been a self-described neat freak since she was a little girl growing up in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And for those of us that are organizationally challenged, Sarah has some tips on how we can reduce clutter and answer the most important question of all, and that is what to keep and what to get rid of. The number one clientele that I have is stay-at-home moms or working women, and they are the ones who want to do everything. Sarah says she's continually surprised that almost every one of her clients seems to think that they have the worst mess ever. I come into their home and they tell me, this is the worst home you've ever seen, and it is by far not that the case at all. Uh, I hear that almost every single home that I go to. According to Gordon, a personal or professional upheaval typically triggers a breakdown in organization. A multitude of things might change with your work, your personal life, and those issues do cause the stress, do cause the clutter, do cause all of those things that involve me to come into their home. One of the toughest challenges we all face when it comes to a thorough spring cleaning is what to keep and what to throw out. Well, I am a huge proponent of letting go of things and throwing out. I do like to test my clients by having them at, answer me as if it was a sale. The trick here is to prove that an item you've been hanging on to is actually worth keeping. You need to sell this to me. Tell me why you want me to buy this jar from you. You tell me how great this is. And if you can, then you should hang on to it. Oftentimes, Sarah says that it's as easy as simply putting things away. Keeping clutter off the cabinets and keeping it in the cabinet is much more productive and easier to find rather than fumbling through it on your actual workspace. A place for everything and everything in its place. You are correct. A little expression my mom used to use all the time. Uh, one of Sarah's tips is uh, to take an egg timer or that stopwatch feature on your smartphone and just clean up for five minutes once a day for a week. She says by the end of the week, you'll be pleasantly surprised at how much you've accomplished. If you'd like to learn more about her business, we have a link to her website at wcco.com links.